Hey, mofos, doing a door speaker install on a Silverado, the 08 to 13 model. Gonna show you how to wire the doors with new wiring, how to get it off, yada, yada, yada. Let's do it. So you can see I did the passenger side already, wired it. Got a Hertz tweeter in there now. Put a new six and a half in the door. I used existing bracket, modified it, didn't get a door kit. And there is the passenger side crossover behind the glove box. I'll do the driver's side today and we'll talk about uh, routing the wire from the crossovers to the head unit. Okay, I got a ton of tools here guys that I'm going to be using, but to get started... Okay, to get the door panel off, firstly, you're gonna need, I'm using two separate drives, 10 mil, seven mil with extensions. Panel pulling tool, this is a one piece from a five piece plastic panel pulling tool kit I have. Then you're also gonna want something metal that looks like this. Here's the uh, part number from Napa. But this is definitely gonna save you a lot of grief pulling those uh, plastic snaps that hold the door panels on off. Then you're gonna want a flat head like this and another really fine, sharp one, something like that, to pull the little plastic pieces that hide the bolts. Okay, first you're gonna just look for a spot to pry behind on this thing. It's got three little clips that just uh, pull right off. Then your trusty little tiny sharp screwdriver. Oh, there we can focus now. There are gonna be a few spots here. First one is behind the door handle. You just kind of pry in this area. It comes right out. You can see the 10 mil bolt there. Make sure you uh, put those in a safe place. Under the door handle here, this one you might want to use the second screwdriver. See, I just wedge that one in there. Then I get another one. Take the second one, put it in here like this. There. There'd be two 10 mils behind there as well. You're going to want to keep track of these bolts. Make sure the same bolts go in the same spot. They'll be different lengths. Okay, now down here on the door handle, on the bottom side, you'll see there's a little little um, notch there to stick a flathead in. Just pop that. If it's giving you grief, you can get, oh, there we go. You might wanna use the panel pulling tool. There's another two 10 mils on the handle. This handle will come right off when the like this one piece here will come off completely. And then the last one is up here in the door lock. So you're gonna need a really thin one to pry this little keeper. You're gonna wanna be careful not to damage it. And that's what it's gonna look like once you get that off. And this is what it looks like here. Slides onto there, snaps on, grabs the threads. Once you've got all that removed, now you need your panel pulling tools. And we'll start on the bottom side here. So what I like to do first is kind of use this plastic one so I'm not scratching the paint. Find a spot where I can pry in behind here. And then kind of twist this and when you do that you'll be able to see underneath in here get a view of where the actual clips are and then when you find out what, where those are visually you will latch onto them with this and pry out to snap them out of the metal holes that are holding the plastic in so you can kind of see the plastic keeper right there snap and that's what you're going to want to latch this tool onto 
Okay, so you're gonna wanna get your tool onto it like this, and that's how you pull these out. They're gonna be running around the entirety of the door all the way up to the top edge here. I'm gonna loosen all those off right now. But if you use this tool properly and wedge it in there and pull these things out and from the hole properly, you won't do any damage. So I got the entire side off here, all the snaps and the bottom. You can see the door is just starting to almost pop off on its own. Oh, I'm going to have to take a look at one snap in there. I'm going to take this 10 millimeter to pull out the 10 mil bolts in the door panel. There's that door handle came off and the two shorter 10 mil bolts that came out. That is there. Now we're going to pull that one off. You want to use no extension. And there's that other 10 mil bolt I just took out. You can tell it's a little bit different. So keep track of them. Next, I'm going to pull out these two 10 mils in the door handle here. Once you've got all the bolts out, you can pull the door away, lift it up, and twist it off to the side. I like to turn it this way. Then you can bungee it over, get access to this speaker. Just got a little bungee running to hold this up. I'm going to pull this uh, right there. Once you get that out, we'll modify this existing plastic bracket here to hold a new driver. Once you get that screw out, just put a screwdriver behind here. There's going to be kind of a metal clip there, you can see. Just pop that out. And then the bottom part should just lift out. There you go. We're not gonna use these wires. We're gonna run new ones. I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna run them through this grommet here and into the kick panel. I've cut out the old driver. Just going to put some black tape on these and tuck these old wires away. So part of running new wires into the door here is you're gonna to wanna to remove this side, not this side of the grommet. You could, but you don't really need to. So what you're going to do is stick your hand in through here. And there's going to be a couple clips that you can push on the sides of this thing to get it to come out. Then you have access right there. And we're going to run a zip tie through here into the kick panel once I pull that off. And then we should be able to feed a wire through. So here's the bracket out, guys. I took these wire cutters, basically just cut all the plastic basket. It's a plastic basket, this <laughs> driver. We're gonna move up to metal, but in doing so, you can now fit the six and a half inch Hertz driver into here. Just need some self-tapping screws. I ripped the foam out here as well, and this used to be the surround where the surround of the driver was attached. Just cut that out with a exacto blade. And yeah, that's how you can get your own uh, door speaker adapter kit with uh, wire cutters. And there you have the six and a half inch driver into the factory door bracket. You may have to do more modification than I did, depending on the driver, etc. You may want to just get a door kit. It will take you a little bit extra labor, but saved buying a door kit for the front doors here. And now if you want to get at this kick panel, you're just going to have to pull this panel here off. Might want to get your panel pulling tools, but if you know where the snaps are, you can get them all. You got one near the top here, snap, and one on the bottom. And then you can get access to the inside of this grommet and the wires that are going into it, which are right here. But what we'll do is we're going to feed a 14 inch zip tie that's thick um, through the door this way. And we're going to pull it back out into the door. 
So our zip tie will end up going this way, coming out into here. We'll tape onto it with uh, speaker wire and yank it back through. A little more detail to it than that. Let's go through it. Here are the zip ties, 15 inch long, good for 120 pounds. These are wide. This will give us the ability to feed the wire through and not do any damage to the existing door wires like we would possibly with coat hangers or something like that. Another tip here guys, when you're gonna feed your zip tie through here, you wanna get this accordion section as straight as you can by hand, even if you have to feed it back and then force it straight. That way the zip tie will just slide right through and you won't be fighting it nearly as much. Okay, so you can see I got the zip tie right here. Basically. And it's coming through onto this side. Tape our speaker wire onto that with electrical tape. And maybe put a little bit of uh, oil some kind of lubrication on there, uh, grease, and then slide it through. Here you can see I got the zip tie and the speaker wire taped together. Now I can make an attempt at pulling it through here. Okay, I got my arm through the door. You can see I got the zip tie right here going through the grommet. There's my speaker wire. Start pulling on it. caught on anything. We're just going to work it back and forth. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, just straighten this accordion out and it'll go through quite easily. You can see I'm through into the door. Now, new wiring. Got the connections all soldered up there and going to throw it back in the door. Now that I got the door all back on, screws in, cover plates back on, pulled off this side panel, gonna have to get the crossover, hide it somewhere in there, and then we're gonna pull this A pillar off, that's the first little access point, pull the bolt there and then uh, the rest it just snaps. Once you pop out this little plug here, it's a seven mil ratchet, to get this bolt out. Once you got that bolt out, just pull the seal off to expose the A pillar. And then just give this a tug. And then you should be able to pop the rest of it out. Then there's a plug, factory plug for the tweeter. Just put a screwdriver in there and pop that out. Uh, once you get it unplugged, this is what the factory tweeter is going to look like. Just take a screwdriver in here, pry this thing right out. It comes right out like nothing, pretty much. Now this stock tweeter grill, as you can see on this side where I finished the install, I used a Dremel to cut this piece out and fit the, the tweeter perfectly. Basically just start with a small hole work your way around until it fits perfectly essentially the way you want it so you don't want to take too much off at one time you want to take off a little see where you're at and so forth but if you just pop this out you can see what i ended up doing is i filed all of these completely off all this area out almost to the outer edge here to make it uh, fit. But once I did, and I had it the right shape, it would just snap right in there almost. And then there's another uh, little bar that you can install on the tweeter to hold it in place. So just to give you an idea what I'm gonna use to carve the hole in this uh, tweeter mount, basically just a Dremel, cone stone piece basically to you know polish or carve things but it works effectively 
the plastic melts a little bit but peels off easily and you get a pretty clean finish and you can you know finely tune exactly what size of hole you need you guys might go a different route and mount it inside and behind here but I like doing it this way so that you can see that the tweeters are not stock and obviously there's uh, some components installed in this vehicle when you have a glance up in the APL area. Okay guys, I got it to the point where it just snaps right in there and it's holding itself in there but the other thing that we're going to add is a little bar that comes with the kit and then the screw goes in here. Okay, now you can see the retaining clip supplied with the kit in there, mounted, not going anywhere. Just need to solder the connections and put it back in. Okay, so I'm soldered up there. Got the crossover mounted in this little side panel here with a fuse box. Gonna try and tuck it in there somewhere. I also got the wire running under the dash here that will be going over to the head unit